Okay, welcome back. So right now I'm in the process of designing a larger wing. Currently the biggest one is a 2300 square centimeter wing and I want something bigger. So I'm going up to 3000 square centimeters. And I'm currently in the very early stages. So I kind of am working off of the old wing, sizing up the size of stock that I have, getting some basic, um, dimensions down here just so I can keep my mind straight and then again working on in the fusion side of things just getting the overall profile of the wing down getting some measurements and I am tweaking the the profile of the foil section I don't want it getting much thicker because this 2300 size is a it's a pretty thick wing as is and I don't want it getting any thicker because um, then you, the drag is really going to start to add up. So I'm keeping the same thickness of this wing, but uh, just scaling out, elongating um, that profile. So oh, the wing will be to scale thinner, I guess, if that's correctly. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it as thick as this, just stretch it out longer to hopefully get some better glide out of it and yeah that's that's the that's the goal so i'm just going to be working on this and hopefully um by the end of today maybe i can get a cut going because um, i'd like to get this done by the end of the week and test it out so we'll see how it goes So while this tool path is generated, it's probably going to take a while. These usually take a while to generate, and plus I'm working from a hot spot, so that takes longer. But uh, we got the wing designed. It's just under 3,000. I think it was 980, I mean uh, 2,980 something square centimeters. So yeah, right about just under 3,000, so it uh, turned out to be the perfect size. And while that's going, I figured I'd bring up something else I've been meaning to do and I'm finally getting to. So I'm gluing up a foam blank because I want to get some foam boards going. Uh, the wooden ones are great, but they're not really practical for larger boards, especially um, if you want more buoyancy. Just they get too heavy and they don't have the buoyancy that you'd want. So I'm starting small. I'm kind of going to do like a shorty version but in foam, so it'll definitely have more float and it'll be way lighter. So gluing this up, we'll see how it goes. The one thing I kind of thought, I debated whether to put a stringer in or not, uh, but I figured for the first one might as well go with it. The thing I worried about really is, um, so the, the, when the cutting bit comes around, so you can move through the foam incredibly fast uh, but then I'm going to have to slow down the whole operation just because of this stringer. We'll, we will see. I mean, the way the full wooden boards go right now, the cutting time isn't bad. But this is going to have a lot more volume to remove, so it might take longer. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not entirely sure. It's going to be a really... I'll probably just throw it on the machine and run it slow and slowly crank up the speed to see what's the optimal, you know, how fast can we go without it becoming a problem. So uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get this done. And I also don't think I've showed this uh, kind of in, you know, just talked about it, not formally, but I kind of redid the floor here in the room where I do all the glass work just to make things neater. And at the same time, I picked up these two lights. One, to film uh, videos that kind of give a nice soft light. And two, I actually really like having them on while I work with a board because I can use a reflection to check how the epoxy is laying down. So this one is uh, nice and dry. 
or cured. And I also picked up a little heater. Uh, a, because summer's kind of coming to an end here. And in the summer, this room was blazing hot. It would be like 100 degrees in here, which was awesome because I could put some epoxy down and it would cure like two hours later. Um, but as winter comes, I'm going to need more heat. And I like to kind of just have this room as warm as possible because it makes the turnaround time much, much faster when doing, uh, whenever I'm pouring any sort of epoxy. And then obviously I got this little background here, just all black. And I put this little hung lighted sign. You can't really tell it's lighted, which bums me out. I guess that's because of the black, but eh, maybe you can. But anyways, just slight improvements to where I'm at. And um, yeah. Oh, and these are just temporary. Um, I definitely am just gonna get a clear poly sheet and just tape it down in this area to catch the drips. That way after a few boards or once it builds up and it gets annoying to walk over, I can just rip up the poly sheet and put a new one down. Just haven't gotten to that yet, um, but that'll be an easy thing to do. But yeah, this is the little glass room going on. I would like to eventually just totally get rid of the wood, maybe just put the same flooring material, but up on this and have it all nice and white or paint but paint is a little little too much it might be easier just to move the flooring stuff up the walls but um it's always good to make some small improvements all right so we got uh we got our stock mounted up bit centered uh we're going for the first cut so we'll see how it does i've been getting a little bit better at this so uh i wouldn't be surprised if the first one turns out okay I also wouldn't be surprised if I have to give it another try. So that bottom side came out great. I quickly realized, and I'm sure you might have seen it too, in the hyperlapse there, I forgot to do a couple things to that cut-in program. So it would, when it's doing these fine steps, it would do a little lap here, go all the way across, do another little lap, come all the way back, do it again, back and forth, back and forth. That wastes a ton of time. Um, and I quickly realized I forgot to change a couple of the settings around, but I just let it go. Even then, it still didn't take that long, but um, once I change that code to how it should be, it'll probably take about half the time as that. But the cut turned out great, and uh, now it's time to just trim these edges and then flip it over and do the top side. But so far, this is a big wing. Um, let me grab a 2300 so we can kind of compare the size. All right, so here is a unfinished 2300, and there it is positioned in there. So definitely a bit more on the span, a couple inches on each side, and then a whole bunch um, in cord. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting to try. Okay, all jigged up and centered for the second side. Uh, let's just run it. Alright guys, end of the night here and uh, just finished up the cut. Came out great. A couple slight adjustments I need to make for the next one. I'm up on the table here just to give a representation as far as the um, 3000 and then the 2300 so it's definitely a lot bigger one of the adjustments i need to make is i got a little too thin on this trailing edge so really there's supposed to be probably another eight or so millimeters uh, in this direction so it's going to be a little bit bigger than this even though that's already huge uh, i love it i love how it came out i kind of can't wait to glass one up and then give it a try it's just massive i mean it's, it's it's big i can't imagine going bigger i haven't been i feel like i've seen a wing from gong that was up in this size 
but I'm not really, I'm not so up to date on that, unfortunately. But if you know of anything, send me an email or leave a comment, something like that. But uh, well, yeah, I'm going to see if this is going to be better. Particularly, I'm about like 100, and, between 170 and 180 pounds. And I've seen some lighter guys in the 130 range on the 2300 wing just launching right off of like rocks and then just pumping away for the end of time and I think maybe that's good for people I mean I can pump away on this wing uh, but maybe it gets a little bit easier or something a little bit bigger we'll see I know a lot of people are into the wing foiling and the bigger the wing there the better so this is hopefully going to be the trick but anyways I mean I'm not going to know until I try it so it's going to be a few days of uh, glassing and letting it cure and then We'll see how it does, and I'll probably film that as I go along here, just to keep you guys in the loop.